So you've worked as CIO with some big global players such as JP Morgan and Dell uh, here in Brazil. Um, what, what do you think of the, the sort of local scene of uh, the IT supplier community? I mean, uh, you, you've looked at it from the buy side. Uh, how vibrant do you think it is here in Brazil at the moment? I think it's quite vibrant. Uh, you have a lot of local players that are uh, becoming more and more mature. You have smaller players that are also getting more, more funny and get, have good products in niches, like in the banking industry. Uh, you have big buyers like Petrobras that are enabling local companies to develop cool solutions. So I think it's quite vibrant. Um, as I, uh, I went to a event a couple of weeks ago at Microsoft and I was quite impressed with the number of funds that are coming to Brazil and starting to uh, invest in local companies that are developing products not only for the local market but for the first time I can recall starting to develop products already aiming at the global market. Okay, and it's interesting that you mentioned that about the uh, like funds coming into Brazil and people exploring new innovations because um, I've been talking to people about the CBIT conference this week in Germany and there's about 17 or 18 Brazilian organizations there. But do you really, do you, do you feel that companies get much from going to these big conferences uh, and setting up a stall? Or should, should we really be funding uh, more innovative approaches to promoting Brazilian IT? I, I cannot talk about it because I've been always on the buy side, so I haven't tried myself to do it. I think that uh, the government has to focus on some areas. My sense is that there is a lot of funds being spent in promoting exports, and I think that's good because you have some Brazilian companies, there is a lot more awareness about Brazilian companies uh, outside of Brazil than there used to be a few years back. So I think there is some result of it, but I think that there is probably much more funds being invested on this kind of events than on what you just said, on promoting local companies and venture uh, capital directed to startups. I think that uh, it's good that you have American funds and other co other countries coming to Brazil, but I would like to see some venture capital in Brazil as well be invested in these startups. Okay, and then what do you think are the big opportunities moving forward? What, what do you think um, sets Brazil apart or where there's some speciality? Oh, it's a large company, uh, it's a large country with uh, the demographics I think it's part of the answer, right? You have how many countries you have in the world with uh, 200 million people with this kind of purchasing power. So you look at the BRIC countries, uh, Brazil has much more uh, higher per capita income than China or, or India, which allows you to develop products for a uh, population that can afford to buy. So you look at mobile platforms, so smartphones are going to penetrate in the Brazilian market much faster, I'm sure, than in China or, or, or India, as an example. Another uh, area where I think that uh, Brazil has uh, a potential to lead is in areas where there is a lot of investment uh, going on and, or that uh, there will be a lot of investment. Not one that is, uh, for me, a clear uh, winner is oil and gas. With old investment, Petrobras is going to do. Uh, there will be a lot of opportunity for IT companies to develop software solutions and export these solutions globally. You already have your not only your first customer, but a very big one. So if you look at areas like oil and gas, where there is internal demand, and you can, as a result, mature products as a uh, happen in the financial industry in Brazil, I think that you have the potential to do it. What happened in the financial industry is a little out of the curve because it's highly regulated. So a lot of the products that were developed for the financial industry were very specific to Brazil. So I think that you have to look at industries where the country is big, like agriculture is another example, 
where you can develop products for the local industry that you can export globally later.